So here you've got the Everteam sound engine interface opened from Blender with a really basic room uh, here in Blender with the, the, the room here, my listener and my source. So first I added a, a micro feed here so that you can actually um, use it for a real time uh, input in the, in the Everteam engine. So if I start the engine you should uh, still hear me and I'll kill everything here. So this is just my voice in the room uh, rendered uh, based on the direct path. So the only thing that's um, enabled here is the direct path and it's rendered through what's called the virtual speaker ambisonic approach. So the direct path is encoded in ambisonic and then decoded through binaural for stereo rendering. So here when I move the listener compared to the source, you can still hear the right left shift. The first feature I added is the direct to binaural. So this skips the ambisonic um, rendering for the direct path and directly renders it through binaural. So dedicating a bit more CPU power for that. Uh, but for a more realistic uh, impression of left, right, up, down. The second thing is to control actually the early reflections. And um, so here supposedly you should actually hear the effect, the effect of the room uh, in, when, in which I, I am. So when I'm getting further away, closer, you can definitely hear the volume of changes, positioning. The only problem with the early reflection computation, and that's why we added a reverb tail here based on a feedback to the network, is that to actually compute large rooms and to have a realistic enough effect, you need a lot of these rays here. So let me give you a short example. If I increase the room size, you can definitely hear the different reflections like and while in a real hall you would actually expect some kind of diffusedness coming out of these so two solutions here either you actually increase the amount of sources and it gives you a more realistic response to your room so that's one way to do it but say you're in a CPU limited uh, application so back to max order of two here and um, so we have the reverb tail option here that will simply add and add and add early reflections based on the room response time here which depends on the room materials and the uh, room size so not on my actual position in the room. And so as I increase the room size, you can see here that the response time increases and you should definitely hear the room response size increasing in the audio rendering. So let me keep that bit down for the rest of the demo. Um, and of course all the early reflection and the tail will be actually impacted by the different material I use in the room, uh, more and more absorbance here. Uh, you've got still the number of absorption frequency bands here from 3 to 10, depending on the degree of realism you want in, in the room. And the last feature is the safe impulse response to desktop, where say I've got a room that pleases me, and then I save the impulse response to the desktop, and you can see here these two impulse responses, the ambisonic one and the binaural one, uh, directly exported from the Everteams engine. Um, and basically, if I open the max test IRs patch that goes with the add-on, and I actually load that guy here, I got my actual room impulse response. I can also do it here, so again, it uses the virtual speaker and basic approach, 
And so with this technique, you can actually uh, simply reproduce any room you like in Blender and have it rendered and then save the impulse response. Here, I'm the internet. I never left. Now why'd you change the name? Global warming wasn't happening, so you have to call it climate change? I think that's pretty much it. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.